I am black. Do you fear me? Cause I do. If what is said about me is true, this whole time I've lived a life I've never knew. Because I'm black, I robbed and stole. I've killed in cold blood, crip, drug, dilt, thug life. Before I stepped outside. Because I am black. That's how they see me. Because that's how you portray me on TV. I am black. Do you hate me? Cause I do. Based on what I've learned in the public school system, I'm that of a slave, an invalid, a victim. The reinforcement of this negative image is force fed and infecting our children. I was a slave, then I was free. Then MLK came around, but what was the need if I was free? Well, you were free, but you weren't equal. Oh, so Civil Rights is the Emancipation Proclamation sequel? Then when's the trilogy? Will it take another hundred years again for me to be more than African American? Our school books boast on how the colonies revolted, fought back and rioted against oppression. But if I do it, I'm a monster, a thug filled by aggression. What's it gonna take to end mental segregation, to break the cycle of slander and libel towards those with a different background? As Americans, we are liable to stack hate on hate until our extinction, and we find someone to blame. That's the American way. You tell us who to blame, you tell us who to hate, but with no distinction other than race, we race to that ominous fate. But I have faith. Not in government, full of mentally segregated Democrats and Republicans. That's a two-headed snake. Even if two heads are better than one, a snake is still a snake. But I have faith. Not in you. You have been changed. You produce the same newscast religiously. You talk to the same people with the same ideology, causing our fellow Americans to grow segregated mentally. No, I have no faith in you. But I still have faith. I have faith in me. I have faith that I will change my mentality. I pledge to end my mental segregation. How can I change the world if I don't change myself? I'm not a victim to what you think about me. I'm a victim to what I think about myself. Like having too much pride. Sometimes it gets in the way. I get so proud of myself that I forget that I am proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. But sometimes it's hard to be proud because I'm not free from social law. I'm unheard and unheralded but I'm glorified in the streets, or through the beats, or as an athlete. No wonder that's where you'll find me. Until you give me credit where credit is due, I'll always be a crip or a pirate. But that's how you want to keep it, isn't it? Keep us mentally segregated. Be the change you wish to see.